that we are renovating the Disney room right now. So you're getting a super limited view and actually it's mostly the Harry Potter stuff that you're seeing. But welcome to 13 Days of Halloween. It's my favorite time of the year. I couldn't find any um, countdown like we did last year with the mystery mini Funkos, but I did get spoiled and there will be a birthday, birthday, birthday. <laughs> Paul coming just like last year but this was one of the things that my wonderful husband spoiled me with so there are 20 exclusive figures and 10 mystery figures in here and I do also have some other adorables to unbox so every day we will open a adorable so today is day one I forgot to grab a sharp object so bear with me I will edit some crap out, maybe. This is actually going a lot more swift than I thought. So, I will show you who all of our exclusives are, which, um, truthfully didn't know that my favorite, oh, somebody's wobbly. Jasmine's wobbly. My favorite princess is one of the exclusives and I'm super excited about it. And there she is. Can you see her? Look at how cute she is. Ah! I love her. And then you also, actually, you know what? I'm just going to show you the back because that's way easier. Here are all of the exclusives that come in this box. I realize I am behind. I haven't opened any of these anywhere, not even on TikTok. So let's open our first one. For day one of 13 days of Halloween, who are you? Again, bear with me. I think she might be from. Is she from Raya? Did they say Raya or Raya? I haven't watched it yet, don't hate me. But I am pretty sure our little monkey friend is from there. And. The name is Pan and it is a common. He's super cute. So I'm gonna have to watch that. That's gonna have to be added to my list, but it is spooky season, so I do need to keep watching my Halloween movies. Um, on to today's video. Hello friends! It's been a while. That wasn't intentional, but here we are. Today we are doing a Bippity unboxing. I still cannot get enough of how adorable the boxes are. They're so cute. I'm obsessed. The grape soda pin, the truck, the Hollywood Tower of Terror, all of it. All of it. <laughs> um, this is the ultimate box and we're just going to dig right in. Okay, so it came in the bag. Here's our packing slip. We are putting it somewhere we can easily reach it now that I'm finally remembering that. Usually I don't remember that. So there's definitely a bag in here and I only marked one lounge fly item for this month. So I think I know what it is. So let's dig in and we're just going to go for the, the really big obvious item sticking out the top here first. Considering I don't think I have much of an option otherwise. Oh, and I wonder if my stuff is in there. But, oh, nope, there's, I came out with it. I got the Mary Poppins and Burt one. This is so much cuter in person. Cause I debated, I was like, do I really like it that much? And I did not know that there are penguins there's penguins on both sides, but look at, like, the camera does not do it justice. The color is so beautiful. And it says, Jolly Holiday. Ah! I can't get the strap out of the way. How stinking cute is 
that? Oh, that's so, and it's like, it's a little bit bigger, actually, than like your usual mini. I don't have one close to me, do I, to compare? Not within, not within arm's reach without moving another collectible. All right. So, well, actually, I'm going to check the bag because it's, <gasps> there's something in there. Okay. We're going to end with that because I know what it is, kind of. Ooh, this was on my wish list. It, I want to do this with Dalton because he's going to be a lot better <laughs> than I am. Um, it's the Hollywood Tower of Terror Hotel, and it's one of the Metal Earth things. Um, it's a 3D metal model kit. And like, oh, the pieces are so itty bitty. Sorry, the reflection is going to be really bad. But I'm really excited to build that. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna be difficult, but I'm excited. I do, it gives you detailed instructions and this one's a parks exclusive. I'm really excited for that because it's my favorite ride. Um, it's in the top, top two in all of Disney World, but my favorite at Hollywood Studios and Hollywood Studios is my favorite park. Okay, there was one other thing in here. A Star Wars patch. And it is Vader. Hmm. I don't know what I'll put it on. It's super cool. That glare, though. I like it. I just don't know what I'll put it on. But it is in my preferences. So, and now the last item is in my bag and I know I marked a Lillian and Co but I don't remember which one I marked I know it's a bangle at least I'm pretty sure I marked a bangle not that I couldn't have gone with something else <laughs> struggle okay I don't want to see the card because then it'll give it away which one is it <gasps> yay I did mark this one it says Practically perfect in every way. Not like you can see that. There we go. It's a little bit better. Oh, yay! So this is my fourth bangle, and I really like to wear them all together. <laughs> this might be getting a little obnoxious with four of them. Okay, so I always like to read the little cards because they're super cute. So, oh, I didn't realize that this came with care instructions on the back. The more you know. All right, it comes with care instructions on the back. Society, your parents, and other people will use their tape measure, Mary Poppins, to judge you according to their standards, but when you give in and attempt to live by their opinions, you'll never measure up. It's time to toss out their tape measure and show up with your own. Pull that baby out and see that your <laughs> every imperfection, every quirky quality, don't have any of those. <laughs> And every cell in your body is practically perfect in every way. Oh, how cute is that? Oh, I love it. That's so pretty. And it's the, I think it's rose gold? I don't know. I'll find out here in a second when we look at the spoiler sheet. I want to pack that back up all cute. All right. Packing slip. There's no, like, little folder this month. Does it tell me who packaged my box? Becky! Thank you, Becky! It was a great box! <laughs> okay, so the Mary Poppins Jolly Holiday Mini Backpack uh, retailed was $70. The Pop by Lounge Fly Star Wars 3 inch patch is $6. The Metal Earth 3D Model Kit Hollywood Tower of Terror Hotel, $21.99. And the Lillian Co. Stackable Bracelet Mary Poppins, practically perfect in every way, rose gold, <laughs> was $32. And I am becoming obsessed with those bracelets. I love them so much, and I love that I can size them so they stay up just a little bit farther because I do hair, and so I don't like when my bracelets and stuff get into the water. So, that's it. Oh, I don't want to pick favorite. I don't enjoy picking favorites. I feel like the obvious is the bag, 
but I truthfully I am super excited and maybe I'll get super frustrated but <laughs> but that's okay it happens I'm really excited to build this and I hope I can talk Dalton into doing it with me we'll see if I'm successful in that matter I don't know if I will be <laughs> Anywho, let me know what your favorite item was in the box. Let me know if you've gotten a Bibbidi box this month too and what was your favorite item. That's all for now. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye guys!